We've learned there's a big problem with many of the parking meters around the city's most frequently visited buildings. They're broken, so a driver can park for free for hours without ever moving or getting a ticket. Not only does that leave fewer spaces for everyone else, but it's costing the city thousands of dollars a month in lost revenue. And News 4 Jacks investigator Jennifer Waugh has also discovered there are more broken meters than the city realizes. This is what drivers are finding. I mean, parking meters that are broken. I mean, look, the inside of this is completely missing, or sometimes you'll see just a blank screen here. And while it may seem like, well, it's just a couple of quarters, those quarters are really adding up for the city. Do you know that parking meters generate $700,000 a year? And these kind, the newer ones that take the credit card, they pull in $36,000 a month. And that's a lot of money for a city that could really use the cash. This one, yeah, this one's not working. That's one. We hit the streets. It's missing the entire inside of it, so the battery's missing out of this one. That's two. This was broken. Look, there's nothing in it. The battery's missing. Number three. It's definitely not working because you can see there's no guts in it. Nothing. All right. Let's keep going. And four. As we walk along Forsyth Street between Laura and Maine, we only found two meters that actually work. Broken. Next block up. Broken. We found six of the 10 meters on this side of the Bank of America building are busted too. It didn't matter where we checked. Forsyth. Inside on this is missing. See, it's not working. Bay Street. Adams between Maine and Laura. Eight of the 14 meters are broken here too. We even found drivers who left notes. We snapped this picture on January 5th, dated six days earlier. Ironically, it was right in front of the city's parking office. And this one was one block down. We spent days walking and counting meters that line the city's 15 most traveled blocks. So here we are across from one of the busiest places downtown, the courthouse, and there are more broken meters. Check it out. Broken. Broken. We found 11 not working here. Anyone can report a broken meter. The number is listed right on the side of it. You'd think of all the streets where we would find the meters working would be outside the city's government offices. You can already see. This one's broken, 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 broken. All right, this one works, broken. This one works, that's two. That one works, that's three, and broken. So only three on this side of the street work. We discovered there are more busted meters here in front of the Ed Ball building than any other city block we checked. That's a lot of free parking. We couldn't get anyone from the city's parking office to talk with us on Seven. camera about why so many are broken. But a spokesperson told us by email the biggest problem is with these meters that accept credit cards. After five years, the batteries are dying. And there's some kind of glitch the manufacturer can't seem to figure out. And it doesn't sound like the city realizes so many are broken. Of the 547 credit card meters in downtown Jacksonville, the city says 116 are not operational, so about 20%. But we found even more than that, and we were only able to check 329 of them. According to our count, of the 60% or 329 we checked, marked in yellow, look at how many are broken. 120. So 36% of the meters are busted, which means the city is losing nearly eight thousand dollars a month and we've learned the batteries started dying as many as five months ago these are pictures of viewers sent us of broken meters dating back all the way to october the lost revenue is tremendous not only to the city but to my business itself reg vicaro owns gus's shoe repair across from the ed ball building customers that come in with a five or ten minute shoe shine or dropping shoes off drive around the block four or five six times call me up and say i couldn't find a parking place i'll have to come back another day or find another shoemaker he says city workers are taking advantage of free parking in the broken spots tying up meters meant for his customers the only place really find a place to park a lot of times is like two or three blocks away you'll circle the block three or four or five times i have the lowest customer count strictly because of parking because they can't get their packages into my store Vicki Wilkins says she has the same problem. She owns the UPS store around the corner. I don't know anybody else that has eight merchants in one block downtown and only six meters. And we found four of those six were broken too. Even though we spotted this parking enforcement officer walk right by those broken meters, 
10 days later, they were still busted. You can sit there all day and they do. And they've been broken forever. So I get my customers cannot get here. I have over 300 mailboxes that they got to come in and check their mail every day. To come and get your mail, you have to park two to three blocks away to run into my store for five minutes. Wilkins got so desperate last week, she put up these signs, which seemed to work, until the city told her they're illegal and removed them. Wilkins tells me after complaining again, the city has finally repaired the broken meters in front of her store. The question is, are these meters turning into a money pit for the city? Of the 547 meters like the one you just saw, each one costs $645. The city already had to buy 300 batteries at about 30 bucks each to replace the ones that are at the end of life. So that's $9,000 already spent. But they're still breaking. The city says technicians from the manufacturer still haven't found a fix, though, after several weeks. In the meantime, the company is sending new replacements. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, the local station. Jen staked out the block in front of these stores to see how much of a problem this really is and to find out if these city workers are even reporting the broken meters to their bosses in city government. Ma'am, excuse me, I noticed that this meter is broken. Have you reported it? It looks like you work for the city. Have you reported that the meter's broken? This woman wouldn't stop before walking into the city's office building early last Wednesday morning. She had just moved her red car from a metered parking spot, you see it here at 7 a.m., to a broken one 39 minutes later. Now she can stay for free all day. In fact, we spotted her car still there five hours later at 12.03. And see that green car? Same thing. It starts out parked in a working meter last Tuesday, 7.33 in the morning. But we catch the driver just an hour later moving to a broken meter. She takes a good look at that meter before walking back into the city building. Another day of free parking and another spot taken for Gus's shoe repair customers. Terrible. That's what I hear all day long from the customers that come and try to park. It's mainly the city that abuses the, uh, the park in here and takes up all the meters with their city vehicles and their employees. We find Greg Vicara's customers hardly stand a chance. By 7.50 in the morning, every single parking spot in front of his store is taken. Driver after driver walking into the city's Ed Ball building. This woman, have you reported that it's broken? To the city? Do you work for the city? You are walking into the Ed Ball building? And I'm just asking because some of the businesses here are having problems because all of the city employees are parking in spots meant for their customers. Ma'am? And this man? Just, I noticed that you parked in a spot that is broken. Do you plan to, have you reported it to the city um, that it's broken? I've noticed your car here several times. I don't times. know anything about parking. He says he doesn't work for the city, even though it appears he's wearing a city of Jacksonville jacket. I have a handicap sticker, okay. so I don't, I'm not required to pay. Well, but you can only stay in that spot for a couple of hours. You can't stay there the whole day. That's correct. Uh, so do you plan to come outside and move it? Yeah, I'm leaving in a little bit. We watch him walk right into the city's government office building with what looks like his lunch. He does return a few minutes later to move his car, which he had parked right in front of Gus's. 30-minute parking only. Vaccaro says he has parked here for hours before. I've talked to him about that before and asked him not to park there all day long like he does. What does he say? He says, I'll be right back. And just does he ever come back? Kind of like brushes me off like he did you. Just kind of like that. Yeah, he does come back about 3 or 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And he parks right in front. He takes all, that spot right All over the place. Yeah, wherever there's an open spot. We caught that same car parked in another broken meter days earlier on January 7th. Again, it's supposed to be reserved for 30-minute parking only. Yet here it is at 7.56 in the morning, then at 10.19, still there after lunch at 12.12, and here at 2.53 in the afternoon. The problem is wearing on Gus's most loyal customers. People park here maybe all day long, and they should be parking somewhere and paying some, you know, like a parking garage or something like that. And so it takes away from us being able to park just on a small amount of time. And I take a chance on getting a ticket, and I don't need, I don't need a ticket. 
Again, none of the people that we talked to did anything illegal. Now, the owners of two businesses just around the corner from the Ed Ball building, they tell us that they've had the same problems with the city workers and the broken meters and that it went on for months. We should also point out that this parking garage, which is attached to the city of Jacksonville buildings, it is available for city employees to park here. There is a wait list, though, and it's pretty long, so it's full. But we checked with the manager of this garage, which is right across the street. He tells us that he does have some spots available. And of course, there's another parking garage that's just two blocks down across from the courthouse. Plenty of spaces available there as well. Jennifer Watt, Channel 4, the local station. Meters that had been broken for months are now being replaced. City Council Vice President Lori Boyer had no idea it was even a problem until we told her. I basically walked the 15 blocks, and these yellow show the 329, and all of these red were the ones that I found that were broken. Wow. Does this surprise you seeing how many? Um, it does in that until this week, we were not aware, I, as a council member, was not aware this was an ongoing problem. This is the map we showed her. See those yellow dots? They're digital parking meters that we counted. The red ones are all of the ones we found not working. Apparently, we have parking meters that are broken, and we're losing around $7,800 uh, a month. So I really wanted an explanation instead of waiting two weeks or a committee to discuss it. That's Councilman Matt Schellenberg, also in the dark. He summoned Paul Crawford with the city's economic development office for an explanation during a committee meeting yesterday afternoon after hearing about our investigation. For four years, these meters have never given us a problem. Uh, up until the last quarter of um, 2015, they started to go out and they started to go out in mass. Crawford wouldn't talk with us when we requested an on-camera interview, but he explained to the council the batteries in the digital meters all started failing at once. And even though they bought 300 new ones, many are still not working. And the manufacturer hasn't been able to figure out why. Schellenberg asking why the council hadn't been told. And I apologize. We should have reached out to you earlier. We spotted this crew fixing meters in front of the courthouse this afternoon. It's 3.05 at the next block. They even asked us about the ones we found broken to make sure they know about all of them. They also replaced the ones here on Adams Street, which was the focus of our story last night. I just I noticed that you parked in a spot that is broken. Do you plan to, have you reported it to the city um, that it's broken? I've noticed your car here several times. I don't times. know anything about parking. We discovered city workers parking in spots in front of the city's government offices, staying all day for hours. Since the meters were broken, they could park for free, tying up spaces meant for businesses like us as shoe repair on Adams Street. Terrible. That's what I hear all day long from the customers that come and try to park. Councilwoman Boyer says she is confident the problem is now a top priority for the parking department. And no question that you, you know, you brought it to the surface, you let everybody understand that it was an issue, and it gets attention more quickly. These replacement meters are actually only going to be here until the new meters come in. They're waiting for about 54 of them. So Councilwoman Boyer told me, she said, look, we're going to give these new ones. We're going to give them 60 days. Make sure that they work. Make sure the batteries don't run out. But if they do, council's going to have to make some tough decisions. You have to remember they cost $670 each and they might have to go with a new company and buy a lot more, which is a lot of money for the city. Jennifer Watt, Channel 4, The Local Station.